Marcus Berg leads the attack on the right side. Inside the box now. Hello guys, I'm HFV. It was exactly one month ago when I visited Gothenburg and that was such a beautiful and great experience that I just had to come back. So here I am in the second biggest Swedish city again to visit the last home game of EF Koyotobor this season. Today EF Koyotobor plays against last place team Östersunds FK. But before we talk about that game, let's have a quick flashback on what happened a month ago. <laughs> Still goosebumps from that support the EFK supporters created on that day and today we are about to experience it again on that day when EFK beat your Gordon 3-0 we could thank for the goals for August Erlingmark, Marcus Berg and Tobias Sana but now I want to credit someone else in my video someone who the EFK supporters are I think familiar with so guys, last time I visited Gothenburg, it was against Hugh Gordon a month ago and uh, I was talking to Hugo who works in the, in the fan shop, we were talking about local culture for like, uh, for like five minutes and he gifted me a scarf and that, that, was, uh, that was such a great experience. So uh, now, yeah, now I, I gave him back uh, a scarf from my local team Ferencvaros, so yeah, now I have the EF Cool scarf at home and now, now he has one, so how do you like it? I will have this at home, I'm very grateful, thank you very much. I truly adore this kind of attitude of people. About today, this is a round 29 fixture of Allsvenskan, which is the second last round of this year's Swedish First Division. Two games to go for every single team and the standings tell us that Östersund, today's away team, is mathematically relegated to next year's second Swedish Division and EF Koyotebor is in the place 9. They can still move up one place if they do good in this last two games. Today's home team EF Koyotebor was founded in 1904. They are 18 times Swedish champions and 8 times Swedish cup winners. Last time out when I introduced this team I missed out a really important information namely that they won the UEFA Cup, the predecessor of today's UEFA Europa League in 1982 and 1987. So they have two continental titles. Two important names, kind of nicknames the club and the supporters identify themselves with. One of them is blue with, which means the blue whites, which refers of course to the colors of the logo and the shirt of EFCO. And the other one is Kamraterna, which means the comrade. Today's away team Östersund was founded in 1996 after several clubs in the city merged. They got promoted to Superet and the second tier of Swedish football in 2013. And two years later, they promoted to Allsvenskan, the first division. Now, this year, after they spent six seasons in Allsvenskan, they're going to go down to Superet for next year's season. They won the Swedish Cup once as well namely in the 2016-2017 season. Let's get a coffee at the Colombians before we leave to the stadium. Oh Almost there guys, some EF Co fans there walking. I'm really, really excited. I can't really express to you. It's, it's gonna be so great again. Guys, how long are you supporting EF Co? I mean, uh, about five years. <laughs> five years. And what do you think about today's score? What's it going to be? 2-0. Uh, I'll go with 3-1. Uh, 2-0. Yeah, 2-0. I think it's uh, going to be 3-1 to us, I think. Yeah. I think we're going to win with 4-0. Four zero. 0 4-0, really? Yeah. Last time, the mascot in the number 10, I took a set video with, it was him. So, uh, yeah, he just told me, really fun. Score guess for today? 6-1. Are you sure? Yeah. Not 7, like? Two six games one. before? Six, six Merry Christmas with EF Co, guys. Delicious. 3-1 for Gothenburg. 3-0 to Gothenburg. 2-0 to Gothenburg. Those drinks are like Coke. It's for free, actually. Not bad. I think uh, EF Co is going to win this game. They're playing against Usasun. And they are going to... Usasun is the last in the in Alsace game. So I think EF Co has a very good chance of winning this game. I think the score will be 2-0 to EF Co. 
Excellent the atmosphere here guys. Uh, I could talk to so many people. Some of them also recognize me because of my vlog against Phil Gordon. There are 45 minutes to go until kickoff, so let's go inside the stadium. They're really cute. Yevko will have many fans in the future as well, as you saw. Yes, yes guys, come let you live it. Here we go. Position players warming up. So, Östersund Sefko starts the game. Attack on the left side. Ball with Tobias Sana. Cross comes in! And there it is! 1-0! Three minutes on in the game. Göteborg leads. It starts again. 1-0. Only three minutes, guys. Look at this atmosphere. Of course, Marcus back again. Who else, guys? Who else than the former Swedish national team player? Position's corner in the ninth minute. Ayesh on the right wing. Cross. Ayesh gets it back. Great skills. Wonderful skills. The cross comes in. The ball still there. Spectacular bicycle kick by Wilhelmsson. It was a bit weak on power though. August Elimar shoots just over the bar. Marcus Berg leads the attack on the right side. Inside the box now. Get the shot in! It's in! It's in 2-0! It was either Tobias Sana or a non goal, we will see. 24th minute, 2 0 for Blovit. Freezing cold, but happy crowd, and that's the most important. Tobias! Ayesh, yellow, inside the box, great chance! Somehow saved by the keeper, it's a corner. Cross comes in. And the ball still there. Yellow the Weidman again. Great save. Crossbar. And headed for a corner. This was Östersund's biggest chance so far. Entering the 38th minute. Östersund actually woke up after conceding two goals. They had a great chance recently, the crossbar. So, uh, prospect of an even more exciting game. Guys, now Varberg leads in Stockholm against Jur Gordon in the Tele 2 Arena and the supporters were just celebrating that. And in between, a great chance for Östersund. Mark, Ayesh, great skills, and the rebound there for Svensson, great tackle, Ayesh again, Ayesh is shoot blocked. Half time it is. Dominant EFK in the first half, 11 shots, 5 on target, while for Östersund it was 5 shots and 0 on target. 
a really great crossbar hit though. Tunnel a really early goal and after that a goal in the 24th minute, so middle of the first half. And after that Estoshun kind of got out of their own half and led a few attacks. So really curious for the second half. Let's begin it. Second half began kickoff by IFK. Oscar Wendt in front of us, the former Bundesliga Borussia München Gladbach player. There the third, beautiful action. Score Marcus Berg. 56 minutes. I listened to this gold celebration song so many times by now, slowly I'm gonna learn it myself in Swedish. Great stuff. Corner taker Sana gets it back. He crosses now. It's not in. Somehow Ustashin got it out. Then Sana again. To Erling Mark again. Ayesh. Uh, that was quite much over the bar. Elling Mark. Bent. 10,824 is the official spectator number today. Oscar Wilhelmsson inside the penalty box. Oh, guys, what a miserable own goal this was. <laughs> they really got a really bad connection with the ball. But it's 4 0 for EF Cop. Tobias Sanas coming off the pitch. Scored last time when I was here against your Gordon. Scored today against Ostechon. Standing ovation for him. Roman Sude, the club legend, is entering. 84th minute, Östersund didn't really have a good moment in this half, and even an own goal, which made things lovers for them. So it's 4 0, and a few minutes still remaining from the game. Cross from the right side. Off the bar again. Second cross bar for Östersund. Three minutes of additional time. It was suited again. The crowd was urging him all the time to shoot. What a spirit here in Gothenburg. Adorable, really. Five seconds left. And it's over. Congratulations. Excellent play today from EFK, 4 nil it is. Crowd chanting Suda's name. This number of fans were here from Östersund. This was Robin Suda's last game here in Gamla Ullevi. Huge celebration. to say much about this quality performance on the pitch amazing atmosphere and excellent people and a heartwarming farewell from club legend Robin Suder who has played his last game 
at Jutteborg's home stadium in the EFK shirt. With today three points, Jutteborg moved up one place to place number eight. And if city rivals Birko Hecken don't win, then they are going to stay there as well. It's time to say thank you to each and every person who was featured in the interviews today. This is it for today. I was HFV. Join me for the next vlogs in the near future. Goodbye.